Yes, hello. So welcome to this uh, presentation where we're going to show how Convertigo can connect to SQL databases and how we just can get and write data to the database using Convertigo connector. So we're going to use the Convertigo SQL connector doing this. For this demonstration, we're going to use as a sample database, we're going to use the MySQL uh, type of database. And I show here the MySQL workbench that helped me to connect to the databases here. So for this demo, we're going to use the training data database we have here. So I just opened the database. So this is the uh, Oracle MySQL uh, workbench working just to show you the database and how this work database works. So you see there's a train database here and I have tables and you see you have three type of tables, global company, customers and websites. Okay, this is sample data we have on the table. So uh, of course these uh, tables has columns and here are the columns. So let's make a request and see the data in the database here. So if I uh, make a uh, select rows limit to 1000, then a SQL Workbench will uh, display for me the data in the database here. Okay, so by the way, uh, when I did this, uh, he uh, did, of course, uh, give me uh, the data and also the request I need to do this here. You will see that this is very important for the next step. So now let's switch to Convertigo and see how we can access this data. So to do a Convertigo project uh, connecting to SQL, so I'm going to use new project and we're going to choose in the SQL, uh, in the templates, I'm going to use a SQL project here and we'll give a name. So this is a SQL project and we're going to uh, next uh, this is the SQL project connector and of course I have to find the driver so I will choose the MySQL driver as it is here and I have to fill in the address of the database so I know my database is uh, uh, so I'm going to fill it in here so it is database dot convertigo um, uh, dot net I know the port is 3306 and the database is training database of course I have a user so I know this user is training user and the password is something <laughs> Okay, so this is my uh, project and I finished the project. So automatically I have my project right connected and I have also my connector and I have a SQL project connector. So if I have the property, this connector is of course of type SQL connector. So I have my database here and everything is completely configured to connect to my information uh, data. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a transaction that will, uh, for example, bring me data from the database. And as a sample transaction, I would like to bring, for example, all the data I need for the customers, the, the global company customers. So the only thing I have to do is uh, copy the uh, request, the SQL request. So I copy it. And now I will create in my Convertigo project a new transaction. So new transaction and I will create this transaction. I will name it get customers. Okay. And the only thing I have to do is to paste the query in the query field. Here it is. Select star from train. Okay. Okay, it's done. So now if I execute the get customers, I will get the data out of my database and here it is the data coming from my database here of course uh, by default the data comes in this format each row and attributes for the row um, this is not the best way we want to get the data so the preferred way is to group data in different things so we're going to use the XML output property here and I will change this to element so this is very important because in most project we want to use the element output. Okay, so if I do this and re-execute my query, I have, of course, now another way of uh, displaying my data. So I have for each uh, element the ID in the table here. 
This is the best way because it's very easy to use this back in the sequence later on. I'm going to use and see how we want to do that. Now I managed to get data from my from the database, but I want to do more complex requests. So this is also completely possible. So if I switch back to my base, I would like to bring my data uh, and I'm, I would add a where close. So where, um, where for example, the name uh, looks like, let's say starts like a, something like um, every uh, name starting by R. Okay, again, I'm just writing SQL here. So if I execute, uh, then the we, of course, the data will be just returned with R's. Okay, this is the SQL syntax. So let's do something exactly the same thing, but you see, I would like to have this R parameter to be a parameter of the transaction. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I copy my request, switch back to Convertigo, make a new transaction. My new transaction, I'm going to name it uh, SQL transaction, and this is, uh, uh, so here it is. And I will paste my request in the page here. Okay. So, of course, this is not the request I want. I want to parameterize the R here. So I will just put here within curly braces the name of the, the parameter I want to make it as a parameter. So now if I make OK, I will automatically have a new variable and its variable is start letter. Let's test this. So as in all convertible projects, I can use a test case. So I'm going to use a test case. Finish. This is the test case. I will just have now to position my value. So I said R. Okay. And if I execute the test case, now the data will just come back with everything starting by R. Of course, don't forget to push this to be a element return. Okay. So again, we're going to trust and we go to get here it is. And I should see only the R guys. And here it is Rosario, Rollins, and Robertson. Okay. So this is the way we can parameterize any SQL request. So you, the only thing you have to do is compute, make your SQL request using any tool, for example, uh, SQL Workbench or any other SQL editing tool, copy the request and just paste it into the, uh, the query here. And don't forget to use the curly braces for uh, any parameter, okay? So this is uh, the way uh, Convertigo can access anything. Of course, you can use any type of query, select, uh, insert, update, and whatever there. So now that we have this, uh, we're going to show how a sequence can call the transaction, but this is standard Convertigo. We can see this in other projects. So we can use a new sequence, like a generic sequence, and say, hey, uh, get uh, data and get data. We're going to use the get customer starting by here. So of course, now we're going to call this information. Uh, as in all Convertigo projects, be sure to learn the schema of the response. So uh, if I update the schema from transaction definition, as we know exactly the data coming from the database, we can use this and the schema will be automatically updated. Okay, so now I can um, use this variable that has been here. I can use this uh, export variables to main sequence. So this will automatically declare the variable into my main sequence, perfect. I can do also a test case in my sequence. So test case, I also make it test with R. Okay, I will position the data in my test case. So I want it to be R. Okay, good. And of course, I have now to uh, output the data as I want to the 
to the client side. The transaction is, is giving me this type of data, okay? But I don't want all this. I want just uh, uh, the customer and I want the ID and the name. So I'm going to filter this using the sequence. So I will do this as a new iterator. I want to iterate on the uh, data, so I position myself on the call, I show the call in the picker, and here's the result of the call. Okay, so I have my output and all my fields. If I don't have anything here, this means I forgot to learn the schema uh, before, okay? So as I did this, of course, now I have my schema completely uh, exposed here. So I want to iterate on each global company customer, so drag and drop, perfect. And for each customer, I want to create a new step, a new element, a complex. This complex, I will name it a customer. Okay, and each in complex, I want to create a new uh, step. This one will be an uh, element. And this element, I will name it, the first one will be the ID, and the second one, so I'll just copy and paste, the second one, oh, sorry, uh, will be uh, the name. Okay, so now I position myself on the iterator, showing picker, Okay, and now I will drag and drop the ID into the ID, the name into the name, and that's it. So we can test now the uh, sequence, calling the transaction with the start letter to be R. So, okay, run, and I should have my data exactly like I want. This is a convertible project. I can test this in the test platform, so I can open the test platform, okay, and I can test my sequence, get data. Uh, I wanted the data to be in re returned in as XML, or I want it to be returned as JSON, and okay, that's automatically done, okay? So Convertigo will do all the job for you, just have to position the request, and with them, we can go and Green and make the web service and the transactions and everything. And uh, as you will see in the videos, how we can consume these sequences from the Convertigo templating framework to make the mobile application. So that's now how your mobile applications can access any SQL database. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, look at the videos. Bye.